Paper mache is the perfect medium for creating a unique little nest like the one I have here. Let's take a look at what you're going to need to make one. You'll need some instant paper mache, acrylic paint, some twine, paint brushes, a small bowl covered in plastic wrap, a measuring device, some scissors, and some twigs. So to get started, we're gonna actually make a tiny little nest. And these twigs, you wanna choose twigs that are pretty flexible. You can see how I can bend these really easy. And these are just some off of a shrub, but you can, uh, maybe you have some grapevine in your backyard that you can coil around really easy, like I have here. And then you're gonna just tie it with these pieces of twine. This is where it's really awesome to have a friend that can help you. And I'm just gonna pull that snug and repeat to make a knot. And you wanna do this in three different spots or as many as you need to make your ring like this. Once you get your ring set up, you can go ahead and mix up your paper mache. I wanna show you something. I've got some little eggs that I rolled here and you can see that this instant paper mache comes in two different colors. You've got white or gray. So you can decide what color you want. This is what it looks like when it comes out of the package. And all you're gonna do is mix it according to the manufacturer's instructions. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of water slowly and Really, you can add water, if you add water slowly, you can you, um, mix it to the consistency that you want. If you're sculpting the eggs or um, making this nest, you want it to be a little bit drier. But if you wanna slather it on a flat surface or something like that, you can make it a little bit more runny. So it's up to you. But we're gonna go with a thicker version and I've got some that I've been mixing up right here. And you may want some plastic gloves to do this this next part. So I've got my little bowl here and all you're gonna do is drop your wreath down in the bowl and then you're gonna start patting some of the paper mache material to the inside of the bowl. And you wanna keep, normally I would be using my bare hands to do this, but I wanna show you how to paint some things too and I don't want you to have to look at my messy hands while I'm painting. So you wanna keep your fingers pretty wet. So I'll dip my plastic gloves in water, but you can see how that just helps me release the clay down into the bowl. So you will just keep pressing pieces down into your bowl until you have the entire thing covered and you can leave a little bit of the nest peeking around the edge. That's what makes it look really neat. And leave it to set up like overnight. When you, um, and which will dry this inside area. Then the next day you wanna remove it, flip it over and let that outside area dry. You can also go ahead and roll some eggs with this leftover clay to go inside your nest. So let's do a little bit of painting. I've got my colors here. You can, I'm gonna paint this one like a traditional nest, but you can paint yours, you know, in um, other colors if you want. You can make it a funky purple nest if you, if you like. And I just dipped my brush in water and you're gonna make your paint kind of runny because this clay is so porous that it's kind of neat to see the texture everywhere. And you'll just keep painting. And you might wanna add a little bit of brown and I'm using a really flat brush, so you can add some lines around to give it that stick-like effect, if you want. Or you can just paint it solid. And then you might wanna flip it over and paint the other side, and this is where your runny paint mixture really comes in handy. Let's add, yeah, there we go. So I'm adding a lot of water, and then you can just kind of brush over your twigs. You could wipe some of that away with your finger and then you're just gonna keep going until you've painted your entire nest. This is, getting down in these areas is where extra water is the key, and you just kinda let them, let all of that paint and color seep into the cracks. And then, if you want, you can paint some of your eggs a blue color. The ones that I brought with me today are actually like a robin's egg blue, but once you get your coating of blue paint over, 
Then you can speckle it with some dark brown if you want. Just sponge it on and leave it to dry. And that's how you make a sweet little bird nest.